Welcome in YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout joined by Dustin Ribellini. And Dustin, thanks for coming back. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Unless you're doing something right to. Well, you know what? You're back. not beating me on the Salt Hill Pub. Oh, that's right. No, I'm I definitely keep, not. I keep Fair inviting enough. you back. No, Fair I'm enough. just kidding. We'll have those coming up later in the show. But let's kick it off with some baseball talk. After our show, I believe it was after the show last week, Wednesday, then the next day, Thursday. Big injury scare, David Price for Red Sox Nation. Uh, since then, more news has come out. He's okay, they say. Uh, seven to ten days. Just your general thoughts on this. Uh, is it right to put a timetable of seven to ten days, or are they just saying that and they don't really mean that because he kind of clarified that we're just going to rest this. Right, yeah, that's the thing is talk about the range of emotions. When it first <laughs> happened, it sounded like it could be Tommy John surgery. Then it sounded like it was going to be okay, seven to ten days. Now David Price himself has said, hold on a second, we're going we're to make sure we get this right. right. We, we don't want to rush this back. So I think you know he's going to be shut down, I think, for at least a couple weeks before he starts throwing again because with a high-priced player like this and how integral he is to the team, you don't want to rush him back and get him back on the mound before right. he's fully healthy. Right, there's no point in rushing him back, save him if you need to, but yeah, you're right, the range of emotions, it's funny you mention that because I was listening to EEI down in Boston and, oh my goodness, that day they were just panicking, he's done for the season and this team's in trouble, and we talked about it on our show on Saturday and clearly the depth that this team, pitching depth that this team has is lacking, but they do have Chris Sale now to take over as a second pitcher or whatever, so they have two good pitchers besides him, but other than that, not a lot of depth. Do you think this means maybe they make a trade because I don't know if anybody in their system or on the major league roster is good enough to fill this role. Well, anybody on their roster right now is not going to be David Price. That's that's a guarantee. Fans know that right. they're not going to produce at a David Price level. I think if he, I don't think he's going to start the season. I think he's going to maybe not start on the DL, but I think he's going to miss one time through the rotation. They're yeah. going to go with Stephen Wright, Pomerantz, on and Rodriguez, and see how it goes. Now, if Price's injury is extended, say he misses a month, then I think maybe they look outside the, the organization because they're going to give these guys a chance two, three times through the rotation to right. see what they have before they make a move. And a lot of people will say, you know, you can't judge a team or players until 60 games or 50 right. games or whatever. So that's about a third of the season. So that might be those first two months. And you got to imagine that they're going to give their guys a chance and they're not going to rush Price back. You'd rather have him take a little bit extra time right. than rushing back too much, as you mentioned. So it's going to be interesting. This team clearly has... Good top-of-the-line talent. We, we've heard about on the starting pitching staff, yes, like we talked yes. about, and in the offensive side, Mookie Betts obviously coming back, and uh, he'll be back, Ortiz not back. Is there a position offensively or defensively that – uh, you might be a little, you know, I know you're not a Sox fan, but a Sox fan should be kind of worried about, or maybe that might be th the problem. I don't know if it's so much concerned or worried about. I just think it's a que the biggest question mark is third base. Yeah. You just don't know what you're going to get from Pablo Sandoval. Right. He could come back, and he could hit 275 and hit 20 home runs, or he could do what happened last year, and he could be back off the team by May. You just don't know. Right. You hope that he can come back and just give you serviceable numbers, play above average defense and just not be a liability off the field in the clubhouse. But for me, it's definitely that position because he's going to hit in a, it probably fifth or sixth in that lineup. Yep. And defensively, you just, you just don't know what you're going to get from this guy. It's a huge question mark. Okay, so so third base, clearly a question mark. Any questions on catcher? We saw you know Vasquez last year. He just has no bat, but he's very good defensively. Sandy Leone. I think those two guys are going to be the rosters. I don't think Swihart's going to make the roster as a catcher, at least, if anything. Yeah, I, I do agree with you. I think both these guys are going to be the catchers breaking camp when they head north to Fenway. I don't really look at that position as a concern, mostly because of the, how much talent they have elsewhere. Right. I just think the catcher needs to be more of that stopgap, reliable defender, which is Vasquez. If they can hit, combine to hit... 250 for an average, right. the Sox will take that. Yeah, and, and the defensive part is a big plus, and that's probably why I see Vasquez later in the yeah. season at least being the starter. Okay, well, quickly, later in the year, we'll, or before the uh, spring training is over, we'll touch on the American League as a whole, but just the AL East. Who's the greatest challenge? Yankees are up and coming, big team. You know, you, you're a follower of that team, so you know them well. But the Blue Jays, are they going away? Orioles, probably those three maybe will challenge. The Yankees have a lot of young talent that we saw last year. The Blue Jays lost Ed Encarnacion, which is a big loss. The Orioles don't make a ton of moves. They're always competitive. I think any one of those teams, it's a coin flip. Right. I think that two, three, and four in the division are going to be closer together than they are to the first place Red Sox in the last place Rays. Right. Right. I can see any one of these teams stepping up and challenging. It's just a ma Right now, it's just hard to say because there's so many holes on all three of these teams. Right, that's the thing. There's not really 
there, there's the one favorite, the Red Sox. Yes. And then beyond that, all three you could see winning yes, correct. The, the, the division or coming in second place and getting a wild card. Right. So it's going to be an exciting uh, season. And later, as we said, we'll talk about the American League as a whole and see who might come out of that. Red Sox and the Indians, probably the favorite as of right now. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll get into the NCAA. March Madness is upon us. The real tournament hasn't started yet, but conference tournaments are underway. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.